What enduring qualities do you think make the 1973 movie Coffee an everlasting symbol of the industry? This gritty exploitation film, directed by Jack Hill and starring the iconic Pam Grier in the titular role, has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. It's a raw, unapologetic journey into the world of vigilante justice and the battle against drugs and corruption in the 1970s. But out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? We're curious to know your thoughts on coffee and your personal connection to it. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's dive into some captivating facts about coffee. This film not only solidified Pam Grier's status as a cult icon, but also established a lasting legacy for the blaxploitation genre. Coffee was a game changer featuring a strong, empowered black woman in the lead role at a time when such representation was scarce in Hollywood. With its unforgettable soundtrack and intense action sequences, Coffee remains a timeless classic, paving the way for future female-driven action films. Its impact on the industry is undeniable, and its relevance still resonates with audiences today. So, tell us, what do you think makes Coffee a lasting symbol of the industry? And what's your favorite character from the film? We can't wait to hear your thoughts and stories. Share your insights and memories below. We're all ears. Coffee, a 1973 black exploitation film directed by Jack Hill, is a gritty and influential entry in the genre. The film stars Pam Grier as the titular character, Coffee, a fierce and vengeful nurse who takes the law into her own hands to avenge her sister's drug-related downfall. The movie's unique style blends elements of crime, action, and social commentary, reflecting the era's turbulent social and political landscape. With memorable characters like Coffee and her adversaries, it's a classic that showcases Grier's powerful presence and solidified her status as a legendary action hero. Coffee had a significant impact on popular culture, contributing to the enduring legacy of black exploitation cinema, and Pam Grier remains an iconic figure in the industry. The film's bold and unapologetic approach to tackling issues of race, gender, and justice continues to resonate with audiences, making it a lasting symbol of empowerment and resistance. Coffee is an American action film that gained recognition for its portrayal of a strong, revenge-driven protagonist. The film doesn't just tell a story, but also features some notable cars. In the movie, King George rides in a 1961 Cadillac Fleetwood 75, a rare and pricey vehicle in its time. Only 699 of these were made, and they had a cost of around $10,000, which is equivalent to over $87,000 in 2021. This unique car choice adds an interesting element to the film, showcasing the attention to detail in the production. Additionally, Coffee received recognition from the American Film Institute in 2001 when it was included among the 400 movies nominated for the top 100 most heart-pounding American movies. This acknowledgement highlights the film's impact and enduring appeal in the action genre. In one memorable scene, Coffee, the film's main character, steals a 1962 Chrysler Newport from the man who picks her up at the bus stop. This moment adds an element of grit and resourcefulness to her character, setting the tone for the film's storyline. These details about the cars and the film's recognition shed light on the unique aspects of Coffee, making it a notable work in the action movie genre from 1973. In 1973, the movie Coffee hit the screens with the tagline they call her Coffee and Shell Cream You. The film gained attention not just for its tagline, but also for its lead actress, Pam Grier. Critics like Roger Ebert praised Grier's performance, noting her beauty and physical presence, which set her apart from other attractive actresses. This film marked a significant point in Pam Grier's career and helped establish her as a notable figure in the industry. It's worth mentioning that during the promotion of Coffee, Pam Grier met Freddie Prinz, but their relationship faced challenges due to his ongoing drug addiction. Eventually, they went their separate ways, and Freddie Prinz married Kathy Prinz. Coffee remains an iconic film of its time, remembered for its strong female lead and its impact on Pam Grier's career. The surprising success of the 1973 movie Coffee forced American International Pictures to fast-track Pam Grier's next picture, Foxy Brown, which it released 11 months later. 
The studio then quickly followed up with Friday Foster and Sheba Baby. Huffy's unexpected popularity led to a rapid expansion of the black exploitation genre and established Pam Grier as one of its leading stars. This success paved the way for a series of similar films, showcasing strong black female leads in action-packed roles. These movies left a significant mark on the era's cinema and played a role in redefining how black women were portrayed in Hollywood. Pam Grier's influence extended beyond her acting skills as she became an emblem of empowerment and change in the film industry. The impact of Coffee and its star, Pam Grier, remains a notable chapter in the history of cinema. Coffee is a 1973 movie featuring Pam Grier in the title role. One notable detail in the film is Carter's Car, a 1969 Dodge Dart Sport. The film is also known for the appearance of Howard Brunswick's official government car, an extremely rare 1969 Imperial LeBaron limousine, of which only 12 were known to exist as of 2014. Interestingly, although the opening credits state that cars were provided by Chrysler, Coffee is shown driving a 1968 Ford Mustang. This blend of classic cars and action in Coffee adds a unique touch to the film, alongside its iconic lead character portrayed by Pam Grier. Coffee remains a memorable part of the black exploitation genre from the 1970s. Coffee, the 1973 movie starring Pam Grier, is known for its unique details. One interesting fact is that the idea to hide various weapons in Coffee's afro came from Pam Grier. This added a distinctive and memorable element to the film. In addition, Coffee was shot in just 18 days, highlighting the efficiency of the production. These quick shoots were common in low-budget exploitation films of the era. During the opening credits, the car is seen driving east on Wilshire Boulevard, providing a glimpse of the movie's setting. These facts shed light on the creativity and constraints behind the making of Coffee, a classic in the black exploitation genre. Coffee, a 1973 film starring Pam Grier, made quite an impact during its release. The movie was part of a double feature with the Mac in October 1973 as reported in Daily Variety. This helped draw attention to the film, contributing to its popularity. The film also features a notable scene where the character Brunswick drives a 1972 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray to a meeting with Vitroni. This choice of vehicle adds a distinct element to the movie. Moreover, the film raised questions about the portrayal of nudity in cinema. Pam Grier, who played the lead role, defended her numerous nude scenes in this and other films, saying she aimed to demystify the human body. She believed that by showing it on screen, she could challenge societal taboos and help people better understand and respect the human form. In summary, Coffee from 1973, starring Pam Grier, gained attention through its release as part of a double feature and featured a notable Chevrolet Corvette Stingray scene. The film also challenged societal norms regarding nudity in cinema. As we bid adieu to the mesmerizing world of 1,973 seconds cinematic gem, Coffee, let's take a moment to reflect on the indelible markets left on our hearts and minds. This soul-stirring journey of vigilante justice and empowerment, portrayed with grace and grit by the iconic Pam Grier, transcends the boundaries of mere entertainment. It's a mirror to our own aspirations, our desires to stand up for what we believe in, and to seek justice in a world filled with injustice. As you recall your personal connection with coffee, the emotions it stirred, the characters who became your friends, and the moments that left you in awe, we invite you to share your cherished memories and thoughts. What scenes touched your soul? Which lines still resonate with you? Did the film inspire you to embark on a journey of your own? Share your insights, anecdotes, and perspectives, and let's celebrate this cinematic masterpiece together. Your thoughts and memories are like hidden treasures waiting to be uncovered, and in sharing them, you enrich the collective tapestry of our appreciation for coffee. Your unique perspective is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling, and how it can shape and inspire our lives. Thank you for taking this journey with us, and for your time and interest in the world of coffee. Let's continue to cherish and discuss this cinematic masterpiece. Your contributions make this conversation all the more fascinating. Until next time, keep the memories alive and keep sharing your love for the movies.